In this video, we will practice using some of our properties of equality and congruence in proofs. So our first example is an algebraic proof. It's basically just an equation that you would have solved in algebra, except this time we're going to practice justifying each step to think about what properties we're using. So if we want to solve this equation, the first thing that I would do is distribute in order to get 6x minus 8 plus 11 equals x minus 27. And there we just used the distributive property of equality. Now to shorten that, I'm just going to write POE for property of equality. The next thing I'm going to do is combine like terms on the left side of the equation, and that would give me 6x plus 3 equals x minus 27. And all we did was combine like terms. That's not really a property. The next thing I want to do is get all of the x's onto one side of the equation. So I'm going to minus x from both sides. That will be using the subtraction property of equality. And I wrote it like that so that we can actually really think about it like the subtraction property that we're actually subtracting the same thing from both sides. After that, what we're left with is 5x plus 3 equals negative 27. At this point, and this was just a rewriting of what we just did, at this point, I'm going to minus 3 from both sides. So 5x plus 3 minus 3 equals negative 27 minus 3. That's again the subtraction property. And when you combine like terms sort of there, you end up with 5x equals negative 30. And then I'm going to divide both sides by 5 which you're allowed to do by the division property of equality in order to get x by itself, and you end up with x equals negative 6. All right, let's look at example B. In this example, it says given points A, B, and C, with A, B equal to 8, B, C equal to 17, and A, C equal to 20, are A, B, and C collinear? So I'm definitely going to draw a picture to get started with this. I know that AB equals 8 and BC equals 17. And I don't know yet if that's supposed to be a straight line. And AC equals 20. Are A, B, and C collinear? Now, if these three points were collinear, that would mean that 8 plus 17 would have to equal up to 20. But because 8 plus 17 does not equal to 20, those three points must not be on the same line. They must actually form a triangle sort of as drawn right here. So are they collinear? No, the points are not collinear. And what we were using right there in this problem is the segment addition postulate, the idea that to make uh, a full line, two segments added together, their lengths added together, should be the length of the full line. Finally, let's look at our last example, example C. If the measure of angle A plus the measure of angle B equals 100 degrees and the measure of angle B equals 40, Prove that angle A is an acute angle. So let's start with what we know, that the measure of angle A plus the measure of angle B equals 100 degrees. We know that. That's a given fact, so that's our reason for that. We also know that the measure of angle B equals 40 degrees. Again, that is a given fact. Because angle B is 40 degrees, and those things are equal, we can use the substitution property to substitute 40 in for measure of angle B in the first equation. That would give us the measure of angle A plus 40 degrees equals 100 degrees. And that's the substitution property of equality. Next, I can subtract 40 from both sides in order to see what the measure of angle A is. So the measure of angle A equals 60 degrees 
because of the subtraction property of equality because I was allowed to subtract 40 degrees from both sides. Because the measure of angle A is 60 degrees, that means angle A is an acute angle because by definition, an acute angle is less than 90 degrees and 60 degrees is less than 90 degrees. So we have reached our conclusion, what we were trying to show. Measure of angle A is 60 degrees, therefore angle A has to be an acute angle.